Life Play by J. Gabriel Chapter 2 Those People T.C. sat at the breakfast table in the RV that she and Charles now shared. It was a relationship of convenience. She had to live somewhere, and he had offered to share his home with her. She could have stayed at the Homeless Coalition. Right, she thought. Charles was a vet like she was. He had PTSD and treated it with cannabis. They had so much in common. Not to mention, they were both born women. Charles came from his room, carrying an armful of coats. "'I'm going to take these down to the Coalition. Want to come with?' he asked. T.C. put her pipe into the ashtray. "'Yes,' she replied. "'We can probably get a free breakfast, even.' "'And maybe bring a coat or blanket you're not using?' Charles added. T.C. got up to go to her room. "'I just don't like dealing with some of those people.' "'Those people?' the workers. You know, we are those people to them. You have a point. Now get a move on, Charles told her, swatting her on the behind. Hey, she responded, don't be taking liberties. Charles held up his hands and said, my bad, I didn't mean anything by it. Sure you didn't, T.C. said as she walked away one hand on her hip and purposefully accentuating her hips as she walked. The effect that woman has on me, Charles thought, slowly shaking his head. He closed the box and sat down at the table. Not one to smoke and drive, Charles added a dropper full of cannabis tincture to his coffee. He wished he had this when he had a panic attack a few months back. He was glad T.C. was there. He loved that woman, and he decided to keep that to himself. They were already on slippery ground with all the wordplay they'd been doing. All right, I'm ready to go, called T.C., as she came down the little hallway with a bag of items. They got into Charles' truck and headed down the sandy driveway. Angela was out in the yard picking up iguanas that were shocked by the cold snap last night. They waved at her and were on their way. You know, Charles posited, if we catch a meeting, we can count today as a twelve-step day. Did you know that if we keep playing around like we've been doing, we'll be working on a thirteenth step? T.C. informed him. Did I see a little smile on her face when she said that, he wondered? Listen, Missy, stated Charles. You're no newcomer to this little play. It's a matter of someone making up their mind about what they want. T.C. knew he was telling the truth. To be continued.